Welcome back to the Best PT Podcast. This is episode 2.9, discussing deep tendon reflexes. So the methodology behind deep tendon reflexes or DTRs is that you're testing that two neuron reflex arc between the afferent and efferent neurons. You want to compare each reflex immediately to its contralateral counterpart to look for asymmetries. And if necessary, you want to introduce reinforcement procedures if you can't elicit a reflex. These reinforcement procedures will allow you to obtain the reflex more easily. Uh, the most common way to do this is to have the patient perform slight contraction of the antagonist muscle. So if you're trying to elicit the biceps tendon reflex, have the patient contract their triceps. Grading reflexes on a 0 to 5 plus scale. 0 indicates an absent reflex. 1 plus indicates a trace reflex. 2 plus indicates a normal reflex. 3 plus indicates a brisk reflex. 4 plus indicates non-sustained clonus, so you're able to elicit clonus, but it resolves on its own. And 5 plus sustained clonus, so when you attempt to elicit the reflex, you get clonus that lasts for a long period of time. Grades of 1 plus to 3 plus are considered normal, so long as reflexes are symmetrical on both sides of the body. And there is not a dramatic difference between the upper extremity and lower extremity reflexes. Looking at the five most common deep tendon reflexes, C5, the biceps tendon reflex, C6, the brachioradialis tendon reflex, C7 is the triceps tendon reflex, L4 is the patellar tendon reflex, and S1 is the Achilles tendon reflex. That's it for this very short episode discussing deep tendon reflexes. As always, the outline will be in the show notes. The next episode, 2.10, will discuss manual muscle tests. Thank you.